What's up, everybody? So today we are reacting to the future of hand grenades. Can't wait to yell yeet out, it's called. And this is by Task and Purpose. I've already reacted to one of these videos. They're really cool. Um, it's just talking about the future of the US hand grenade. Very excited to see where this goes. Um, you know, obviously I've thrown my fair share of grenades before in training and stuff like that. So it'd be intriguing to see how they upgrade a grenade. Um, which you don't really think about. You think about upgrading weapons and vehicles and ammunition. But grenades? Interesting. Excited to find out more. But before we do that, as per usual, I want to give a huge shout out to my members. Guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, when this pops up, it might be a little bit of an updated list when this video airs because I am away over the weekend. Um, so it might be a little bit of an outdated list, but it will be updated as soon as possible. So don't worry if you've just become a member. You will be on there very soon. Um, also, if you're a member and you're not part of Discord yet, link down below, go join, make sure you join Discord. And if you're not a member and you fancy a chat anyway, join, because it's fun, we've got a great community. Down there you'll find Instagram, Twitter, uh, Discord, website, merch, and my Twitch channel I stream Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So, uh, let's get let's get into it, yeah, just split it up. It's a shorter video, so I might do a bit of chatting in between each bit. So, uh, let me just pull that up, let me just move to the side so you can see me yet, and let's watch this. For the first time in 40 years, the US Army could be getting a brand new hand grenade. This next generation multi-purpose grenade would replace the current M67 fragmentation grenade. So 40 years, 40 years it's been since the grenade's been redesigned. That's crazy. That's I'm guessing is the one that went from the pineapple shape to the regular one now. 40 years, a long time. Also, this looks kind of cool. It would have some really interesting and much needed upgraded capabilities. It promises to bring the ancient art of hurling a jar of explosives at your enemy into the modern technologically <laughs> fancy day and age. Before <laughs> Let's switch that again. Classic. Technologically fancy day and age. Before we start, <laughs> let's watch the results of my field test to see if after being out of the army for 10 years, I'm still able to throw a grenade 40 meters. Yeah. Nailed it. Finally made my high school baseball coach proud. It's not my fault we lost the championship. Stop texting me about that, Mr. Potts. It was 15 years ago. I like this guy. This guy's funny. I think he's awesome. Also, if you remember the last time he was wearing a re this really cool shirt of like this uh, hel like guy wearing helmet MVGs and stuff. Guys, I still can't find where that shirt is. If you know where that shirt is, link it to me down below because I'm very excited. I want to get it. Task the question on all of our minds with this new hand grenade is what can it possibly offer that's new and are the features too complicated for someone as dense as me to operate? <laughs> We're getting a manual adjusted fuse timer that the operator can set on their own. You'll be able to custom set the timer down to the millisecond. So if wow. you want to give the enemy a few extra seconds to pick it up and throw it back at you, that's now at your discretion. I always <laughs> thought it was hilarious that the current standard issue grenade that we use has an official fuse of four to five seconds. Four <laughs> to five seconds. Our explosives should be more precise than the instructions on the back of a microwavable pizza bagel box. The biggest upgrade... I think that is kind of sketchy, isn't it? Four to five seconds. I'm pretty sure the British military grenade is the same. It's just so sketchy. Four to five seconds? Like, that's seconds of, you know, that that's a big mark when it comes to a grenade on big variants of time so i don't know I don't here is that it gives the operator the option to switch between the grenade concussion or fragmentation explosive types with the flick of a switch concussion wow. grenades only have a blast radius of two meters because they don't send out any shrapnel as opposed to fragmentation grenades which have a 15 meter blast radius sending pieces of metal flying out everywhere at high velocities after not going outside for three months, if either one went off in my apartment, it would be a big improvement. Having the option to switch grenade types on the fly gives soldiers a much wider range of tactical choices in the field. The concussion grenade, for okay. instance, is in the offensive category because they can safely be thrown while advancing on the target thanks to its smaller blast radius. That's that something makes sense. you simply couldn't do with the frag option. Look at this thing. So all these little pieces break up and that's what the fragmentation is, which is kind of scary if you think about it. But, you know, it does the trick at the end of the day. It does the job, so. Having the two types of explosive choices also makes the grenade safer because if you're in a situation where you're worried about the blast radius hitting yourself or friendly elements, you can make the explosive less lethal. The mm. US Army hasn't had a concussion grenade at all for 40 years now. Wow. They retired their last concussion grenade, the Mark III, a2 
because it was made out of 50% asbestos. I'm not kidding. Yes. Apparently that's where all your asbestos went when they removed it from your attic. Whenever 50% asbestos? <laughs> so they might not be, is, is that like, um, is that like chemical warfare? Let's be honest. <laughs> we threw those grenades on training grounds. We were accidentally poisoning ourselves. So the army stopped using them and to yeah. avoid all the lawsuits by whatever law firm is trying to sue 3M with a class action lawsuit. If you're a veteran yeah. and you've used the internet at all, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The army is opting for a very different type of grenade design here. The prototype renderings show that it's no longer has that spoon clip that has been a staple of the typical hand grenade style for as far back as the M1 of World War I. These little spoon clips, I remember people would always save them and use them for key rings and stuff. I wish I still had one. They are pretty cool. Improvements since then have included moving to a circular design, which is easier to throw than a pineapple shaped grenade. We've also been working on decreasing the chances of it making up its own mind on when it wants to detonate. Yeah. This is thanks to using a more stable explosive called Comp B inside the M67. The next generation hand grenade doesn't have a catchy name for it yet, so for right now, it's called the Enhanced Tactical Multipurpose Hand Grenade. Put that in them. They'll make some sort of acronym. You guarantee they'll make an acronym for this grenade. It's going to happen. Bumper sticker. The top army science people. Yes, that's their <laughs> official title. Working at Picatinny Arsenal in New Jersey. They only had $1.1 million of funding only. for the project in 2017. I can't believe I just said $1.1 million as if I don't have all the money I own stuffed in a sock under my futon. This doesn't surprise me though, the new hand grenades aren't really the top priority for our military right now, given the types of conflicts we're engaged in. Most troops who have a hand grenade issued to them right now have a very restricted rules of engagement with them. The days of mm. kicking in a door and tossing a frag per room have been over for a long time. Yeah, there's a lot of rules and restrictions in, in place now, and rightly so. Let's be honest, you don't want to be just throwing them willy-nilly like they do at World at War, the Call of Duty game, because they spam the grenades like crazy. You've got to be very precise and careful with where you throw these things because they're dangerous, they can be lethal to yourself and your oppos. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of rules and regulations which I think are personally good um, and, and, and they make sense. Obviously, that varies based on the mission. I carried a frag grenade on my vest in Iraq and I never used it except for that one time when I needed the end of the pin to reach that tiny impossible to reach reset button on the back of the Tamagotchi. <laughs> the Army Times got this quote from Lieutenant Colonel Bohannon about the new hand grenade development. Quote, over Operation Enduring Freedom and Operation Iraqi Freedom, we collected soldier feedback and that feedback told us that the M67 hand grenade had limitations which we've known of in restricted terrain. Yeah. The only problem I could potentially see happening with the new enhanced hand grenade is that it's maybe too complicated. Having the extra options like setting a fuse timer mm -hmm. or choosing which type of explosive you want, each variable there sounds like it could add a very small room for human error. And it's like yeah. my old squad leader used to say to me, Cappy, your nickname should be human error. Not sure <laughs> what he meant by that. So, um, yeah. Let me, let me pull out of the way. Let's have a bit of a chat about this. So, again, as always, you do worry about implications of, you know, errors and stuff like that and, and how reliable it is when, when you're on the ground. Also, messing about the timer and the type of explosion that it does. Will that impact the amount of time it takes from you point out a grenade to throwing it at the enemy? Uh, because, obviously, a grenade is something that, you know, grenades are used for clearing places really quickly and they're for, they're for quick attacks, really, aren't they? Like, you don't throw a grenade when you're in a long fight because at the end of the day, you're just wasting ammo, aren't you? You're just wasting, you're wasting equipment. So, grenades are used on the fly very quickly and, um, you know, for clearing rooms and stuff like that sometimes. So, it's like, well, that's more like flashbangs, but you get the point. Like, they're a very, they're a very quick source of explosion and um, if it takes longer to, to prime it and, and to... Um, set it to the correct um, settings and you know there could be there could be uh, worries there also you know having two different grenades for you know a small blast radius and a larger blast radius might have been better because if you put it on the wrong bond by accident throw it and tell everyone that it's on the smaller one but it's not and you've done an error like you said a human error that can be fatal that can be dangerous to your oppos so human error is something that you've got to be very very careful of and I hope on the grenade, if, if I go back to, uh, it's already up there, it's already gone anyway, but it had like an F 
for fragmentation. I would like it to be way more clear than that um, because when you're on the ground and things are going crazy, when you're in the middle of chaos, the last thing you need is just to mix up two letters by accident. You know, like you need to be able to see it clearly, visually, when there's chaos going on around you. So, uh, yeah, I think it's very cool. I think there's room for improvement with the grenade after seeing that. I didn't think there was at first, but now thinking about the improvements in technology and what we could probably do, I could see a really cool grenade coming out like that. Um, but again, I think it would be a long transition because all the grenades that we have right now would slowly be used until we run out. So yeah, very interesting to see. Um, very excited to see where it goes in the future. Again, thank you to this channel. I'll leave the original video down below to go and send it some love. Very, very interesting. Before you go, as per usual, I want to give a shout out to my members. Guys, thank you for everything. You really are amazing. I love you all so much. Down below, you'll find links to everything. Instagram, Twitter, Twitch um stream three days a week monday wednesdays and fridays um discord down there join the discord website and my merch go and check out merch it's really cool thank you for watching everyone have a wonderful day goodbye